Okay, everybody. Here is the ninja where we left off, and we're gonna model the arm today. Thank you. I'm joking. It's me. I just felt like doing an Asian, uh, I don't know, voice. I had my coffee this morning, so I'm a little. <sighs> I already had my crash, so I'm not that excited, but I still feel like. I can do stuff. Hey man. I'm the ninja. Are ninjas Asians or Japanese? What what are ninjas from are they usually from like Asia or Thai? I don't know. Or the in ninja and I am from the movie. What movie is he from? <laughs> I don't know, I need to stop. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm very quickly going to show you how to model the arm and just the arm. Okay, not the hand. I did not say the hand. Just uh, so you get a basic understanding of how this process works. As I'm sure you already have, blah, blah, blah. We're going to go to create polygon cylinder. And where is the. Oh, cuckoo. 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 <laughs> down here so I'm gonna grab this and put the arm over here and I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees in the Z I'm gonna move this now the reason why I'm creating this as a separate shape and not doing this like I can go to uh, edges double click and it'll just ring around all these edges and then hit extrude and then just hit W and pop this out and oh check it out we got arms alright I'm not gonna do it that way because I wanna show you how to combine uh, separate uh, shapes that we have here so we have the body and we have a cylinder so I'm gonna show you how to combine stuff and you know it's not nothing big cause you gotta mesh and it says here combine so you know I would just select these two and combine boom but you know I just want to show you so very quickly I need to grab this cylinder and not have all these vertices and polygons so I need to change the division to like 8 alright and then the height I need to make this where is my reference Go to the front view and then just push this to connect with the shoulder and end on the wrist. So, okay, I'm happy with that. So now I can come in here and start messing with the shape of this. Rotate this down to match the shape of the arm. And. Move this forward. Maybe make it thicker. <laughs> That's what she said. Alright, so I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to come in here and add a whole bunch of divisions. So look at the shoulder. Look at where the shoulder meets the bicep here. And then the bicep over here meets the forearm. So I'm going to divide it right there. See this bicep? Put a split right here. And then another split here. And then that's going to allow me to shrink this. So I'm shrinking it in the perspective, but I'm watching my front viewport. So look here so that the top and bottom match the top and bottom of my drawing. So something like that. And I'll move it right now. So maybe move this down like that. All right. I'm going to grab these segments again scale it down so that it matches uh, go to my front view and move it there and then again I don't need these faces so grab these faces and blow them away now I can go to edge double click and then rescale this way down so that it matches my wrist now the secret for this is that we're going to model the hand 
on a separate file. Why? Because just like we're modeling the, the ninja with reference images, we're going to model the hand by looking at a picture of you can take your own picture or you can hopefully find a good one on the internet but we're gonna take a picture of the top of our hand and then we're gonna use that to model it on our next video and the next uh, for the videos for the hand will probably uh, well maybe am I no yeah I'll make it a two video process because you need to model a low res or a proxy version of the hand and then go into higher detail so it'll be a two video for the hands sorry what was that I don't know what what was that okay so check this out let's connect this bad boy to the, to the torso here so grab that vertice let me turn on this wireframe mode so that I can see the edges here grab that vertice hold V actually hit W to grab our move tool right so wiggle the the middle one, the middle axis, because that'll allow you to move the vertex in all axes up, down, left, right, forward, and back. And then we're gonna hit V, V as in uh, vertex, right? So when you hold it, you can see it changes from a square to a circle. And then we're gonna middle mouse and click where we want this vertex to snap to. So I want it to snap to this vertex here. So I'll hold B, middle mouse, and wiggle around the area you want it to snap to. And hold V, and I'm gonna keep doing this all the way around. And so that's gonna give me a nice, perfect connection. actually I need to delete these faces inside of the cylinder too so let's go ahead and do that boom go back to object mode and you can see now we have the basic shape of our arm here right so again just like we did with the body we want to do the duplicate special with this so let's go to the front and I need to move the vertex I mean the vertex the uh, the pivot point so right now if I were to pivot this you can see it pivots around the center of the arm I need to move the pivot on the middle of the body so that when I duplicate it it'll flip all the way to the other side of the body so hit insert hold down uh, I believe it's X to snap to the grid once it's in, in the center of the body hit insert again and that will move the pivot point at the center of the uh, the grid that we have down here so now we can do I believe is shift control D no that didn't do it and what is this uh, we go to a file what, what kind of tool is this why do I have a pen tool? Jesus! Why am I drawing in Maya? Is this a plugin that I have? Jesus! Let me pause the video here. All right, I don't know what that was. So we're gonna go into edit. Uh, I believe I need to freeze the transformations. So when we move this stuff around, you can see over here, we're actually moving it and, and all these coordinates. So I need to freeze all this to zero. So where it's at right now, that's where I want it to be. So you go to modify freeze transformation and now you look here and it's all zeroed out. So now if I go to uh, edit, duplicate special, go to the option box and we're gonna do the instance make sure you're not under copy because it's not gonna copy what we do to one side to the other unless you have instance selected so let's try this and hit apply and boom remember you need to have a negative one under scale because this is X Y and Z if we scale in the negative X that means it's gonna go you see how we have X this way 
but it's rescaling. So it's going to rescale on the negative, which means you're going to go negative x. So that's why it pops into the other side. All right. So let's close that. And now what we do to one side happens to the other side. Oh, that looks cool. Wow, 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 wow. Pop locking. Boom, 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 boom. I'm a birdie. Alright. So let's go to wireframe mode. So hit four. So you can see through your model. And go back to object mode. Now I'm gonna insert another loop right in the center and one right here. So that I can grab this, rotate it like that. Come over here and scale this up. Make sure I'm this. I'm looking here. Move that up like that. Again. Uh, grab these vertices here. You can move this up. Rotate these this way. And then from here, uh, what we need to do is start shaping the vertices or the lines here, the segments, and the direction that the muscle is growing. So you can see the muscle has this curve to it. You might want to, it's a good habit and a good idea to come in here and grab these vertices and shape it in the direction that the muscle moves or that it's oriented so the muscle here has this curve so I'm gonna give these vertices that curve so something like that right so now when we want to come in here and shape the muscle it's really really easy to do so because we already have the shape of the muscle here so if I were to hit uh, 3 it shows you a basic uh, view of what it's going to look like once we add a smooth to the model but it's not really smooth it's just for preview only so if I were to hit render you're going to see that the arm looks very jaggedy and it's still very you can see the polygons right it's not smooth even though we see it's smooth in the preview window so this is just to preview how it'll look when it becomes smooth so if you hit 2, you can see your polygons and the smooth view. If you hit 3, you only look at the, the smoothness of it. And if you hit 1, you go back to your polygons. Alright. So now what we want to do is we want to start adding some more geometry, some more uh, definition around the muscle. So in, in order, like when we hit 3 and we look at the preview, you don't really see the muscle pop out, right? And the reason for that is because we only have one one edge going around here. So if we add another edge closer to it, uh, it'll start looking harder when we when we make this into a, a smoother edge. So if I were to come in here and add another smooth edge ring, and then make this smaller. because these rings are really close together now if I were to hit uh, 3 on my keyboard and hide this you'll be able to see there's this little curve going on right here compared to this side there's no curve here but you can start to see a curve right here so what I can do is go back to 1 and I can start pushing this a little more so actually I'm gonna pop this out instead of in so I'm gonna pop that out like that and push it almost over the first ring so it really gives me that that definition there and then let's take a look again hit 3 so it's not that bad so but if you really wanted to see this you could add like one more in between there something like that now that might be a little too much but if just to exaggerate the example now you can really see that hard edge 
but like I said this might be way too much so I don't want to add that in there yet and I'm gonna come over here to this other side and do the exact same thing so add that loop pop it up and I'm pretty happy with that now what you can do is start looking at your own muscles here if you have a mirror or something look at your own muscles so you can see what this should look like from the back so maybe from the back you know this muscle comes out uh, this way like this and this follows this direction so it starts going this way not inward how we had it so it's very important like if you have some anatomy books take a look at that and look at what the muscles should look like and push this out and then push it down something like that and bring it in now you need to look at this from all views remember that I'm going to push this out like that something like that and maybe here we have the elbow coming out right so go back to object view uh, and then I'm gonna add one more right there so that I can push this out let's take a look at our side view So go back to edge, push it in, move it up. So something like that. Now this is again very basic model. So you want to keep it basic because if you want to make any changes later on, you want to be able to just come in here and just move like one, one loop. And you want to be able to push it out and give it some nice definition. So I can push this in some more. And then once you're happy with the overall shape and the volume of it, then you can come in here and start adding uh, more more rings and shaping it up, you know, taking your time. So let's hit three. And I can even do it to the body. So see, now you can really see that definition around the muscle here. So I'm very happy with this maybe around here looks a little flat so let's go back here and I'm actually gonna move these and then I'm gonna match the other stuff later on so grab that push it out and now grab this one and I'm gonna snap this to this one so now it gives me that better curve to it And then all this I can adjust later. So the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add or how to model the hand on a separate file. And then we're going to bring that file into this model so that we can attach it to the arm here. So I can call this, you know, my arm. Make sure you give everything a name. So this will be like the uh, his left body. And then this can be his right underscore body. And this would be the right arm. So select everything. Hit 3. Hide the uh, wireframe. And I would say he's looking pretty good. It's come a long way. So in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do or how to model the arm and then we'll attach it to the model alright so can't wait to start hacking at the face I'm sure it'll look pretty awesome once it's done so if you like what you're watching you know subscribe and I'll keep you posted with some more videos I gotta go and take a nice cold shower I'm out peace out